You're at home, ready to start your workday. You sit down and try to connect to your office computer. But when you try to connect, it says, unable to connect. So you end up calling the office, hoping someone's present to reboot your machine. If that doesn't work, you're back on hold, waiting for IT support. After about one hour of lost productivity, finally you're connected. After you're connected, you notice that your session is sluggish. It takes about three to five seconds just for the letters to catch up to the keyboard. To add further insult to injury, you find you get disconnected about one to three times per day. Law firms all over the world are dealing with this painful dilemma and it's absolutely crushing productivity. Welcome to another Uptime Legal video where we help you to better manage and grow your law practice. In the next five minutes, we're gonna cover the top three reasons why this is happening and give you a remedy to the problem. Let's go. First and foremost, inadequate internet speed. If you're remoting from home into your office, you can only go as fast as the slowest side. That means you could have great download speed at home, but if your upload speed is lacking at the office, that will be your bottleneck. Run a speed test from the office, and most likely you will see your download speed is far superior to your upload speed. At one point in time, when maybe one or two people remoted into the office, this was adequate. But as work from home became the norm, your internet pipe cannot handle the demand. If you run voice over IP phones at your office, inadequate internet will be especially burdensome. Your firewall needs to be adequate as well. Your current firewall may have sufficed when everyone was in the office, or again, only a couple of people work from home. As the network output demand is drastically increased with everyone trying to receive data from the office, your current firewall may not be up to the task. Another problem is firewall configuration. This is especially critical if your office is depending on one single internet connection. Even if you have amazing internet speed, network saturation could kill performance. This could be triggered by a large print job, a large upload or download, several people on the phone at the office, or an application not well suited for remote use being accessed via VPN. A lot of people are remoting directly into their work computer. They may be doing this over a VPN with remote desktop services. Others are using a service such as go to my PC or log me in. There are a couple of problems here. Number one, office computers are fallible. They run updates, reboot, go to sleep, critical services stop randomly, and are easily impacted by a power blip and or network issue. So often, people find they cannot connect and end up calling the office hoping someone is there to reboot their machine. If that does not work, they may spend not only their time, but someone at the office's time playing IT detective. This is not a great way to spend the first hour of your workday. Second, many products on the market that help you connect to a personal computer are typically not efficiently designed for a long-term workday. Their original purpose was someone connecting to their computer to maybe update a billing entry, grab a document or two, and then get out. Working all day long with these tools often feels very lethargic as the screen visuals struggle to keep up with the user's real-time keyboard usage. If you're hell-bent on owning your own servers, your best option would be to co-locate those servers into a professional colo that meets standard SSAE and SOC compliance metrics. This is ideal if you're a larger law firm with 100 or more employees. If you're smaller, you may be sticker shocked by the price of the co-location coupled with your managed services bill. If you want to keep your servers in your office, here's what I'd recommend. Number one, stop connecting directly to individual computers. Get a business class terminal server or Citrix server. This will be far more reliable and it will perform better. Next, get two internet lines, one for data and the other for voice over IP. Lastly, 
make sure that you get two business class firewalls, such as a watch guard or a sonic wall, for example. These firewalls can mirror each other in case one of them fails. They can also identify if an internet connection is down and temporarily have all functions run through the internet line that is up. Lastly, make sure that your QoS or quality of service is configured correctly so that priority bandwidth is allocated where it needs to go. If you want the easy button and you're a smaller law office, ideally between 3 and 75 people, your best bet would be to consider private cloud hosting options. This will give you service that is fast, reliable, secure, and finally, cost effective. Working remote does not have to be a painful experience or having remote offices, but you do need adequate technology. To learn more about private cloud hosting options here at Uptime Legal, visit our website at uptimepractice.com. Here you'll find videos, blogs, white papers, pricing, and more. Feel free to fill out a form or call us to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation between you and one of our legal technology specialists. Until next time, stay safe everyone, and keep striving to better manage and grow your law practice.